This is the time of the year when we remember the diversity that makes up our national culture. African American art has always had its own distinct flavor, while at the same time assimilating aspects of a variety of cultures. Here to share some thoughts of his, here to share some of his thoughts on the creative process is Pancho Brown, a highly regarded artist who has carved out his own unique style. Welcome, Pancho. Thank you. You graduated from the Maryland Institute of College of Art, a Baltimore native? Yes, in Baltimore, we were born and raised. All right, you've been painting for how long? I've been doing this professionally for about 24 years now. Excellent. Now, Pacho, I had the opportunity to visit the Louvre in Paris, and one of the things that I noticed when I was there, there are dozens of artists there studying the masters, Da Vinci, Michelangelo, Renaissance painters, mostly Eurocentric. Um, for African Americans, and particularly African American artists, is there a void there for them to study uh, artists who they have a cultural identity with? Well, I don't think there's a void. I mean, I came from that same education, a Eurocentric view, but I, I, just like everything else, you try to seek out more about who you're about, who you're, where you're from, and so a lot of African-American artists now, our, our masters are beginning to come to the surface, the Romeo Beers and Sir Charles White, so I think the playing field is equalizing a little bit. Uh, we had that, that great foundation of the European perspective, and now uh, we're able to look at some of the African-American artists and African artists now and, and begin to incorporate that into what we're doing as our, for our careers. Wonderful. Uh, we visited your studio, and we have um, some video of, of you working. Um, one of the things that I notice when, when I see you work is that it, there's a rhythm and a movement to your painting. Um, can you describe what's going on with your creative process? Well, I mean, uh, I think life is about rhythm and movement. Uh, I think it's a bigger word for me. It's about spirituality. So uh, it, it, you get that in, 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 in my work and a lot of artists' work. So they show it in a different way. So uh, it's not uncommon for people to, to notice the spiritual aspects of my work, but uh, motion is something that they tend to react to a lot. What inspires you when you're painting? Um, I'm just um, out, anything, our people are so colorful that it gives me a vast amount of information to, to capture on, on canvas or on paper. Um, I have uh, happy themes, sad themes. I just try to bring attention to some of the contemporary issues that we have in today's world. A lot of your work incorporates the human form, the figure. W what do you find so inspiring about that? Well, I think that from my training, I, I've, uh, um, African art is, is basically a figurative art form. Um, mm -hmm. So uh, again, um, I'm it, elementary, I, I like to capture things that people can identify with. Uh, so I use the human form a lot in my work. Is there a difference between African art and African American art? Definite difference. I mean, if you go to any museum in the world right now, you, they have a wing that, that's associated with African art. But African American art is, a, is, a, is a, another distinction that uh, more museums are now beginning to give more attention to. Uh, the African American experience is something that uh, has been a void in the art world in general. And uh, over the last 15 years, uh, a lot of African American themes have been surfacing in, in the art world. And it's wonderful to see. When we look at some of the samples of your work, um, we see that there's there's a wide variety of medium that you use that you incorporate a lot of different visuals. Yes. Well, my background is I'm a commercial art uh, artist by trade, so I use every medium: dry, wet, acrylic, oil, pastel. It really depends on the mood I'm in and the particular piece that I'm working on. So I'm not limited. Uh, often my pieces are a combination of one or two mediums. You like vibrant colors. Well, I think that if you talk about vibrant colors, that's something that's a distinction with African-American art. You will see vibrant colors in, in a lot of the work that's depicted in that, in that realm. When, you, when you're painting, do, do you look for any particular message to come through in your work? Uh, I don't. Usually I take time to title my pieces to kind of bring the viewer into where I may have been when I created the piece, and it kind of minimizes it a little bit. But no, I basically just, every day, I try to come up with something different that comes from the spirit. So it, 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 it never varies what direction I go in as far as subject matter. Now, most of your fans probably know, know your work from your paintings, but really quickly, you've you decided to expand your artistic venues a little bit, and you're, you're, you're looking into sculpture? Well, yeah, I did a lot of sculpture in college and, and haven't had a chance to really pursue that. I did photography as well. Uh, but sculpture happens to be one of the things I'm really interested in pursuing in the next five years. So uh, I've been devoting a lot of time to doing uh, ceramic art, uh, particularly, but planning to do some bronze masks of some of my, of my work. We'll look forward to seeing it. Well, thank you. You oh, will right. see it. Thank you. <laughs> You can learn more about the work of Pancho Brown by going to the Artworks This Week website at mpt.org.